I'm not going to look into the light. No matter how many times I fail my auditions to become a Panigio Parmesan girl, I am not going back into the light. We're not supposed to see this. Please, no, please. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Sarpax Late Night Ranks. Today we're going to meet a man named Pietro Ferrero, the founder of the Ferrero Chocolate Company. You're also going to meet a young man named Rank Sarpak. He's going to eat a chunky bar for the first time. He's going to tell you how he feels about it. <laughs> right now, in fact. Don't you want love to come your way? What's up all of my double peppers? It is Rank Sarpak here on another luxurious evening uh, to do another late night ranks with you. What are we gonna be doing? Something spicy? No, try something comfy. Something heavy. Something chunky. No. That's why if you're here, make sure that you are on your grandmother's quilt like I am. Pre-J Ensemble. And before we really get started, I want to acknowledge this special message. This episode was brought to you by the Panigio Parmesan Girls. Be sure to get your tickets at the Metro Center. You can go online and enter code RankSarPack to get 15% off a big fuck you. Panigio Parmesan Girls, huh? This is a cartoon. So why don't we dive right in? Now this chunky bar was already open because I found it in the garbage. So I am unwrapping it now. There you are, as is tradition. Jesus, like a steel chocolate bar. Oh. Oh. In the late 1930s in New York City, a candy maker, Philip Silversheen, invented the Chunky Bar. How about that? Isn't that something? Um, they originally used Brazil nuts instead of peanuts, apparently. Wait, this has peanuts? I'm allergic to peanuts. Raisins are gross, and I'm allergic to peanuts. I think I'll be okay from just two bites. I don't know why I'm swallowing it. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I didn't have another candy planned. That was gonna be the whole thing. Um, I guess we'll just have to try it again some other time. I need you to get it to, to the, the point. point. Do you know who I am? I am Pietro Ferrer. I founded the company in 1946. That is 77 years ago. I have been building my empire for 77 years to get here, and now it's here. And you have to eat at the chocolate. Um, you think you're, uh, what? What, you think you're too good? You have to eat at the chocolate. To eat at the chunky bar. Eat it. Eat it. I, I have some more pertinent information I think you might like. Mm, 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 delicious. Ita, ita. Sir, I could die. I will make your life so much worse than you can possibly understand. Maybe espresso is where Pietro gets big idea for chocolate company, huh? Who makes this crap? And so I go to Brazil. The chunky bar actually used to be made with the Brazil nuts, huh? In 1984, that was when they switched from Brazil nuts to peanuts. Pietro say, hey, swap out the Brazil nuts with the peanuts, huh? The customer's stupid, eh? They can't tell the difference. Eh? But you save a lot of money. When they were released, they originally cost only five cents. And you could get smaller ones for two pence that were called chunky cuties. Pietro does still return to Brazil every few years. 
Pietro owns a slave farm there. They harvest my chocolate. Because chocolate tastes better with blood and sweat. Suffering. This is chocolate. Chunky cuties. What a chunk of chocolate. Chunky cuties. Open wide for chunky. Okay. Everything in life can be solved with chocolate. Sir. Sir, I'm losing you. Um, I will take you down to that farm and I will have you work and harvest the Pietro's chocolate until you break your back. I could have just been one of the Panigio Parmesan girls. And on the Pietro's farm, you do not get the severance when you break your back. They shoot you. Like a dog. No. <sighs> My love. My throat. Look at you. You stink. You smell. You act like you can barely even stand it, huh? What is so bad about the chunky, the jokely dog? What do you think is bad? This is delicious, huh? Pietro make it better. Pietro make it better with the bean. I show you. He show you big time. Huh? One dead piece of the donkey bar. Huh? See? It's a delicious. There is a nothing wrong with it at all. It tastes chocolate. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Now you would eat the entire bar of the chocolate in front of me. Is this thing still on? Or am I just getting stupid? What a chunk of chocolate. So chunky that even the monkey will fall in love. Open wide for chunky. So chunky that even if you feel funky, you're falling in love. Chunky cuties. Because you're eating Ferrera Spacho. Open wide for chunky. Anti-inflammatory properties. The symbol of love. What a chunk of chocolate. Entire economies based around Pietro's slave chocolate. <sighs> you don't really know what it's like, huh? To be the gatekeeper of chocolate. Trying to define me where my chocolate? Nobody knows what it's like, huh? <laughs> what a chunky chocolate! Chunky cuties! <laughs> Open wide for chunky. Do you know why Halloween is my favorite holiday? Yes, sir. May I have another? The chocolate. Yes, sir. I will clean my room. Oh, the chocolate, huh? Ferrari make a big money on that day, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. I will go to bed at 9 a.m. Take, take, take. That's what the holiday is about, huh? That's what the holiday really is about, huh? We both know. We both know. Don't we? What it really Unperverted power. I'm stupid. I'm a stupid clown. What a chunky chocolate. Chunky cuties. Open wide for chunky. And what the hell are you looking at? You know, the other thing I like about Halloween is it reveals the true nature of humanity, huh? Tick, tick, tick. Spooky, spooky, spooky in the tick, tick, tick. Spooky, spooky in the tick, tick, tick. I want to meet. I could have just been one of the Panisio Parmesan girls. Don't you bring. Oh, hey there. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Things aren't looking so hot for old Rank right now. 
I know, but just trust me. These things have a way of working themselves out in the end. I think you'll find the story actually has quite a happy ending. As for me... Should have been one of the Panisio Parmesan girls. If I can force my body to poop it out fast enough, maybe the peanuts won't affect me. A box of a dead chocolate and then we will eat the Ferrari spot. Is this how I become a woman? Bar, my favorite bar, my favorite bar in the world by far. Is this how I become a woman? More. I ask you. Who could ask you for more? You get sexy and then you get old. And then you're dead. And sometimes you go through life having never performed once on the stage with the Panigio Parmesan girls. I'll never stop. What if the diapers don't work and the Panigio Parmesan girls think that I'm shit? Which I clearly am. I'll never stop. And it's at those moments where it's like, what did I do with everything? I founded the company because I thought I had to, had to feed the people at the post war. Stupid to think I could have ever been a Panigio Parmesan girl. Hey, dumbass. You just gonna sit there all day looking like a sad, sorry piece of shit? I've... I've pooped it out. And the diapers didn't work. So now there's shit in my pants. You'd be a fucking idiot. Fucking dummy. Something stupid happened. Something stupid happened today. Are you gonna get up? Practice your dance moves. And now there's sh shoot in my poots. And become the best goddamn Panigio Parmesan girl that the world has ever seen. I'm right. Something real stupid happened here today. Pietro is very tired. No. And somebody has to stop a Pietro. Because now we know the truth, eh? The only one that can stop a Pietro is... Pietro. Goodbye, stupid world. You don't want to live anymore. You don't want to live anymore. There are so many slaves. So many mountains of slaves. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. I never asked for this power. I never asked for this power. It's not fair. They all think I'm a war criminal. The slaves wanted to be there, huh? The slaves, they understand. They understand what it takes. <laughs> it's you. You've finally come for me, haven't you? I go with you. I go with you.
Well, anyway, I guess that's going to wrap it up for Sarpax Late Night Ranks. I'm become the Venusian. I am become the Panisian Parmigiano girl.